Hi, beautiful people. I'm going to talk about the eternal now. What is that? Eckhart Tolle talked a lot about that and wrote books about that. And I want to tell you, I think it's really, really important. In the 1970s, when I was in my 20s, I read a book called Be Here Now. That was such a revelation to me. I had no idea what that meant. I read the book, I was excited by it, but I thought it was almost like a foreign language. What is it to be here now? Well, in reality, now is all there really is. The past is past, it's gone. We can learn from it, but to get stuck in it is really not a good idea and really can be very, very painful and keep us stuck and kind of suck us down like being in quicksand or something. And living in the future, that has its place, you know, planning and design, designing your life and figuring out what you want to devote your time to and your energy and money toward, that's great. But you don't want to live in the future too much of the time. You want to plan. You want to take a look at what you need to do. But then I think the really good way to live is to pull back and be in the now. All right, so as you know, if you've watched any of my videos or read any of my materials, I talk about living on all five levels or more of our being physical, the emotional, the subconscious, the conscious, mentally conscious, and spirit. So the eternal now is in all of those things. Soul always lives in the here and now. But when it dips down, soul dips down and puts its attention on mental things, now we're in our body. Now we're, I mean, now we're in our head, which is part of our body, obviously. And anything below soul the body, the emotions, the subconscious, or the mind is all what we call the worlds of duality. And it's really hard to live in the worlds of duality in the now. So one of the easiest ways to live in the now is to live as soul. That's to put your attention on your true self, your God self, your loving, light and sound, joyful, delicious self. That is who you are, and you can be in that and put your attention on that throughout the day, especially when you're feeling stressed. That's a great time to take what I call a bliss break and pull yourself back into the now. Just be here now, okay? I mean, I say that in a cavalier way, just be here now, because I've learned to do it, and I love doing it, but if you don't know how to do it, you're going to have to practice it, and there are many ways to practice that. So as you know, if you've been following me at all on YouTube or reading my blogs or reading my books, I'm really a big proponent of being here now, being in the present moment. They say the present is a gift. That's why they call it the present. <laughs> I know it's corny, but it's true. Being in this moment, taking time to just let go of, you know, your frustrations, your your anger, your sadness, your anxiety, all those emotions that kind of pull you in a direction that doesn't feel good, you can let that go for short periods of time. You can learn to let it go for long periods of time. And I have many tools to help you with that. I teach that in my course, Essential Mastery, and I allude to many of those things in my blogs and in my books. I hope you read them. I hope you do whatever you can to learn to live in the now. And this is especially important for people who have PTSD or have PTSD-like symptoms. People who've been traumatized, and most of us have been traumatized in one way or another, some severely so, you'll need to learn many things. And one of those things is to be present in this moment where you're free. You're free of the past. You're free of trying and striving and you know pushing yourself past your comfort zone to do things that are more difficult than you think you're capable of. So be in the present moment as much as possible throughout the day. Just take one second, five seconds, 20 seconds, three minutes, two hours, whatever you need to just be in the moment, okay? I think you'll find your life feels so much better and you'll start calming down. Uh, if you need help with, reach out to me and we'll talk about what we can do to help you out, okay? I wish you much happiness in being in the present moment. Take care, talk to you next time.